Eligibility. Making sure that everyone gets the care and support they are entitled to is really important to us. We treat everyone as an individual and make our decisions fairly by giving priority to people that need help the most. To do this we use something called the National 2014 Care and Support Regulations to decide who is eligible for ongoing care and support. Even if you think you may not be eligible for council funded care and support, it is still worth asking us for an assessment, as there are many other ways we can help and support you. Even if you are not eligible, we will always offer you information and advice and help you to access support in your community. We may also tell you how to get equipment, tell you how to request an adaptation which is a change to your home to make life easier for you, recommend you for an enablement service to help you regain your independence. If it looks like you will need ongoing care and support, we will give you a needs assessment to find out exactly what you need. We never compare people with each other, meaning you may get different support to someone else, even if they are in a similar situation to you. This is because something you find difficult may not have the same impact on someone else. The eligibility criteria. There are three steps which we will use to decide if you are eligible. Most of the time you'll have to pass all three steps to have your care and support paid for by the council. Step one. Step one is that you need care and support because of a physical or mental disability. This could be a physical disability, a mental health problem, a sensory disability, this might be being deaf or blind, a learning or cognitive disability or illness, this could be a learning disability, drug or alcohol misuse, or a brain injury. You do not need proof from a doctor. Step two. Step two is that you need care and support because you find at least two of these things difficult. Eating and drinking, washing yourself and washing your clothes, getting to and using the toilet, getting dressed, getting around your home safely, keeping your home clean and safe. This could include paying your bills like your water or electricity bills, keeping in contact with friends and family, having a job or volunteering, going outside and using public transport, or looking after children you are responsible for. Step three. Step three is that your well-being will be affected if you cannot do any of these tasks. You may be eligible for care for some of your needs and not others. It all depends on how the things you find difficult affect you. We will consider each of your needs separately. There may be a charge for the services we provide. If you are eligible for support, we will tell you how much your services will cost us and what you need to pay.